Hello and welcome back to CC Tutorials and I'm continuing playing The Black Mirror. Last episode we managed to uh, raid a tomb. We got a chronicle of Marcus Gordon, about Marcus Gordon, and we found out the first secret key. We need a few more. Also we learned about a little bit of curse, which is hunting. Also we killed a wolf, unfortunately we had to. It was going to kill us. Actually, it killed us, but we had we got better. Anyways, I think we are leaving here. I have no idea where are we going now. I scrambled through the vast area of the woods and set off for the castle. I was lucky today. I thought I would never make it out of the depths of the mines. Oh, Samuel. Come, join us. Okay. You look terrible, Samuel. Did something happen? No, it's just that I've had a difficult day. I'm all right. You came in rather late. I did want to have a word with you, but I have to leave for the sanatorium in a short while. Now? At night? Yes. There is a problem that cannot wait. Can't you put it off to tomorrow morning? Unfortunately, I cannot. What's this about, then? I don't... I do not know exactly myself. I will determine the situation when I arrive there. It must not be anything serious. You need not worry, Victoria. Please return as soon as possible. I do not like your going there at night in this terrible weather. It's late already. I must go now. See you tomorrow, Samuel. Goodbye. Be careful, Robert. Do not fear. Well, he was a little tense. So what's next? I'll be leaving for Wales tomorrow, Victoria. I should return in two days. To Wales? May I ask why? Oh, uh, just for a visit. I haven't seen dear Eleanor for a very long time. I will write a letter to her first thing in the morning. Will you take it to her along with my greetings? Of course. Thank you. I'll go to my room now, Victoria. I need to take a rest. Of course, Samuel. Who's gonna die tonight? According to William's diary, the next key has to be in the Wales Manor. I must not delay. I'll set off tomorrow. All right, the key. Chapter 3 Hidden Legacy Nice mustache. I awoke drenched in sweat today. My past memories are haunting me even in my dreams. I should not have returned. I cleared my thoughts and decided to carry on with what I had begun. I set off for our family's manor in Wales so that I could finish what William couldn't. I hope Eleanor will not refuse my visit. I don't even know whether she'll still remember me. According to William's diary, the next key must be somewhere at the manor. I have to obtain it. However, I have no clue as to where to start looking. The grate is locked. Well, I have to say that 
architecture and decorations are quite interesting, but they do bear the resemblance of the Black Mirror. Anyways, I might as well make a save. I checked, you can actually get... Um, Uh, get stuck in the wolf area. Basically, if you fail the shooting twice in the... Well, if you fail it once, you can only fire another one. And if you manage to open the... Uh, shoot the lock and open the door, then you have no ammo. And basically, at that point, you cannot complete the game. Uh, I'm almost certain that the last time I played, I saved and if i remember correctly from my save titles i think i saved just when i was outside from the mine so i didn't get stuck there but apparently that is a possibility and if you don't only use one save or have a <laughs> earlier save quite a long while so you have to do it again uh so what can we do a wall what can we do a wall the upper spikes look as sharp as the lower ones. Uh, There's no going this way. Yeah, I would say so. Anything else? Yeah, I saw there's the doorbell. Obviously, we are going to use that, but I might as well check all other things while we're at it. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello. Hmm. No one heard me. Yeah, I'm guessing the gate is not close to the building, so let's use the doorbell anyways. I'll wait for a while. Yeah, I have to wait. I can't do anything. Maybe the ringing was too short for anyone to hear me. I do hate the situation where you have uh, pressed the doorbell, and if you, especially if you can't hear, if it actually activated, and then you stand there and thinking, uh, did I press it enough? And did the person hear it? Should I press it again? And then you're starting to be in that uh, weird place when you are thinking when to press it, not to be too impatient or something like that. That's annoying situation to be but this is a game we're pressing hmm. the grate is locked oh right it seems that the wires inside barely connect okay um so we need to... Do I use this small knife? Maybe if the blade were thinner. Thinner. Is this... No, that... Wait a minute. Listen carefully when I pick this key up. Interesting. Um, what else I could use? Main gate. Well, there's a rock. What can I... Do I use this on the gate? No. Maybe if the blade were... Do I have anything I could use? Morning card? Maybe. No, that won't do. Hmm. We really don't have too many items. So am I missing something on the ground? Uh, maybe I should leave. What happens if I leave? Can I get somewhere? First, I must find what I came here for. 
I'm not leaving before I find what I came here for. Fine. What? Oh, broken statue. Okay. Why didn't I notice that earlier? I tried to be careful. The left leg of the statue is broken off. There's a nail stuck in the column. Okay. Yeah, I need to press three times. It wasn't at all hard to pull out. Good to know. Maybe we use their nail then. I'll try to stick the nail under the doorbell so that it connects the wires. You do that. That seems to have helped. Someone's coming. Yeah, someone's definitely coming. What do you want, sir? Madame Eleanor is not expecting anyone today. I am Samuel Gordon from Black Mirror. I am here to visit Eleanor. Take me to her, please. I'm sorry, sir, that's quite impossible. What do you mean? Pardon me? You said you were a Gordon? Yes, Samuel Gordon, the son of Randall Gordon. I'd like to trust you, but I can't. There have been some problems recently, and I've got to be very careful about who I let in. Maybe if you could prove your identity somehow, sir. I must say I expected a warmer reception. I'm sorry, sir, I must insist. Come on, Samuel. He doesn't know you, so that's uh, perfectly understandable. Overall, I wait the whole day. Oh, I've got a lot of work to do in the garden. Steady on. I'm just. Jeez, that was too fast. I just opened the inventory almost. <laughs> so I'm guessing I have to. Well, do I have a? There are some coins in it. Oh. There's quite a lot of Well, I have William's William's morning card. So let's press it again. I'm guessing we use the morning card because I don't have any identity in the wallet, at least. I Sam hope he's going to let me in this time. I no. haven't traveled the entire day, only to be left standing in front of the gate. Could you be more slower? <laughs> Oh, is that you again, sir? Can you prove you're a Gordon? Okay, let's use this. I hope you will find this to be sufficient proof of my identity. It's William Gordon's morning card. He is one of the reasons why I have come. Of course, sir. I apologize for the disbelief. Oh, Some weird. hoodlums tried to rob us a short while back, hence the extra caution, you see. I understand. May we go in now? Follow me. I'll see you inside. Interesting. So somebody... Pardon me, madam. Yes, Louis. I see we have a visitor. This is Samuel Gordon. He's come from Castle Black Mirror. Oh, yes. I know who he is, Louis. That's all right. Is your memory failing you? I hope you welcomed our guest warmly, Louis. I didn't know who he was, madam, and therefore I didn't want to let him in. Welcome to Wales, Samuel. Hopefully Louis didn't annoy you too much. No, madam. He explained the reasons for his cautious behavior. We need to be extra careful these days. We were almost robbed last week. But that is probably of little interest to you. So why are you delighting me with your visit? Can we speak in private? I understand. Louis, can you return to your duties now? Certainly, madam. Thank you. I don't think it's a coincidence that a robbery attempt, maybe. I am so glad you have come, Samuel. I have not seen anyone from the family in years, and time passes so slowly here. Tell me, how long are you planning to stay with us? 
several days, I expect, but I don't know yet. Only a few days? That's a pity. Victoria wrote about what had happened to William. I liked him very much. He was a great man. I regret not attending the funeral, but I am weak, and a long journey might affect my health further. I explained everything to Victoria in the letter. I hope she is not angry with me. Do you know whether she received my letter? I have not received a reply, and I do not know what to think about it. But I have her reply here. I promised to deliver it. Really? Hopefully it's good, well, uh, at least positive news. You are very kind. I am not keen on waiting in uncertainty. I will read it this evening. But surely you have not come just to deliver a letter. No, indeed not. Uh, let's start with the William. Tell me, madam, when did you last see William? Hmm. That was a very long time ago. Yes, I do remember. He came to visit me two years ago, along with Robert. It was nice to see them again after such a long time. How long did they stay? Less than a month, I think. Why are you asking about it anyway? I'm picking up certain pieces of a puzzle. I see. Do you remember any significant occurrence from that visit? Did William behave normally? I do not remember him behaving in a... Or maybe, as I recall, he was enormously interested in our family tune. That surprised me. He seemed quite obsessed with it. In fact, he kept asking me about it all the time and finally convinced me to take him inside. I did not want anyone to disturb my ancestor's rest, but I eventually gave in. I don't know what he'd been after, though he did not want to answer any of my questions even though I asked him directly. That day, he really did behave strangely. William was inside the tomb. However, he found nothing, just as he recorded in his diary. Oh, ghastly. I'll, I will faint for this knowledge. Well, about William's diary. I found William's personal diary, Eleanor. I read all the important records several times. He mentions the tomb you spoke about. Are you sure he did not tell you anything about it? Can you remember anything more from his visit? Much time has passed since then, Samuel. But my memory still serves me well. He did not give me any idea why he'd been interested in that place so much. Nothing at all. I understand. Okay, and now let's go with the curse, because of course we want to talk about the curse. Everybody loves good curse. You most probably are aware of the curse that has harassed our family for so long. What do you think about it? The curse of the Gordons? You would not believe such a tale, would you? Being a young man of the modern age, Samuel. The chronicles state that Durgham Gordon found his final rest somewhere at this manor. Perhaps this refers to your family tomb. I do not think so. The tomb is old, but not older than 200 years. As far as I know, the tales about Durgham reach much farther into the past. The only thing I know of him is the memorial with his name. Even if the chronicles did not lie, his grave would have certainly fallen apart a long time ago. William knew that Durgham's key must be somewhere at the manor. I've got to get into that tomb somehow. Durgham's tomb. Anywho, all picture. Madam, do you know this man? He reminds me of someone, but I may be mistaken. Am I supposed to know him? Oh, I believe so. It's William's protege. James! I didn't recognize him in this older picture. 
I only knew him as a little boy. Oh, where could he be now? He is in Robert's care, in the sanatorium in Ashbury. Is he still... Poor lad. James was quite normal when he was young, but as he matured, that strange illness of his got worse. And he started to regress rapidly. That is why, in the end, William put him in Robert's hands. Poor boy. I'm glad you told me. At least I can pray for him. Okay, that's interesting. Finally, we know something more about James. I totally have forgotten the guy. <laughs> um, in, in other words, I would... I don't know if the diary collects all the information, but it would be nice to have... Uh, like in Agatha Christie games I have played, there's a little info about the people and whatnot. Also, a note that uh, obviously... Well, I'm not making... I haven't made too many uh, handwritten notes in this game, uh, but that would be also nice in the in-game notepad. That's always nice. I think Pillars of Eternity had at least a somewhat decent notepad, which I used when I uh, ended up play playing for that day, because I didn't realize how when I would play next time that I usually made notes that what I'm going to do next when I play. Okay, that's enough of Philosophy Eternity. Let's go back to Wales. I remember the last time I was here as well. However, I'm a little surprised that you remembered me. Of course I remember you. I have not lived here all my life. You know, I also spent some years at the Black Mirror Castle. My memory is the only thing that still serves me well. You were very young then. I can certainly understand that you would not remember the boring visits of relatives from afar. What was it? Five deaths from one person? The curse, I mean. And we had a wife. Would she be one? And Samuel has been blaming himself. We have no idea anything about the situation. Well, that would be interesting if a protagonist would be the, also the antagonist. Which is a possibility. Although Robert is a slightly suspicious person. But, uh, of course, it could be Victoria also. I'm guessing it will not be her. So, it's mo it is most likely Victoria, Robert or me. And like I said, Robert seems suspicious, but uh, it would be an interesting turn of events if the Samuel would end up be the antagonist also. Anyways. I would also like a word with Richard. Can you tell me where I can find him? Richard? My husband? I do not know. We barely see one another. I will tell you why before you ask. It's that damned chemistry lab of his, and all those nonsensical experiments. You see, when he was young, he was an avowed scientist, but never made his breakthrough. Years ago, he stopped his experiments for a long time, and I thought it was for good. But lately, the old fool has returned to those silly experiments, and would rather spend his time with a microscope and formulae, rather than with me. So you don't know where I can find him? I am angry with him right now. I'm not interested in the least what he is doing or where he is. I forbade him to carry out any experiments in the mansion, because I am afraid something might happen. If you want to talk to him, go to the old house in the garden. Most of the time he closets himself in there with his chemicals. Surely you will be able to find him. Surely I will be. Accommodation, doorbell, symbol of the fire. Let's start with the doorbell. We need to inform that the doorbell is not working. Then we could go... Well. Do you know that after having travelled a whole day, I almost did not make it past your main gate? Yes, I do. Louis did not want to let you in. You must forgive him. He's only doing what he has been told. Oh, it wasn't just Louis. The doorbell doesn't work. Oh, well, this whole place is falling apart. 
Many things do not work anymore. The mansion is slowly deteriorating. Richard does not care about these things, and I cannot manage it all alone. I'm glad I at least have Louis to help me. Without him, the garden would have become desolate a long time ago. Would you please tell Louis to fix that silly doorbell? Certainly. Um, let's go with the symbol. Eleanor, have you ever seen anything like this? No. What is it supposed to be? Oh, I hoped you would tell me. I'm sorry. According to William's diary, an object similar to this one should be somewhere here at the manor. I really have not seen anything like it before. Will you allow me to examine the grounds of the mansion? Gladly. Consider yourself at home. Just tell Louis that you are my guest. Um, will I show the picture of the symbol and then ac about the accommodation? Look at these pictures. Do the images make any sense to you? Hmm. No, I'm afraid they don't. So what do the symbols mean? I'm not sure myself, but I hope to find out. Haven't the foggiest, my dear. May I know which room you plan to make available for me this evening? Louis will get the East Room ready for you. It is cosy and warm. You are my guest. Thank you. So I am. I think I'll go now. Okay, what can I steal from here? Mirror? A common mirror. Nothing special. Mirrors are never common. Because it's the portal to the other side. The wood is crackling within the flames. The whole room is comfortably warm. Yes. Uh, chatting by the trees around the gate, it's water maybe? The coat of arms of the Wales branch. Our family line is much older. Oh. Matthias Gordon, Eleanor's father. He was a famous piano virtuoso in his time. Well, that explains the piano part then. Um. I am not familiar with these coats of arms. They are not ours. Perhaps they belong to relatives of Eleanor's. No, no, no. They are the flags of the vanquished enemies. Taken from the battlefields. Let's go to the staircase and rub the, the staircase place. staircase leads to the rooms in the upper floor. I'll go to my room in the evening. Oh, so you're not going. Okay. Well, let's... Well, this looks oddly familiar. It's quite similar to the black mirror fountain of youth, maybe. There was something red. Window. The water is quite clean. No algae or mud. Unlike yours, the bond, this is being kept very nice. It reminds me of our ill-fated pond. Yes, where poor Henry ended his life. The water is quite clean. And nobody's either. Let's check the window. I'm guessing we will need this bond for some thing later. I can't see inside. The glass is very dirty. Perhaps no one lives in this part of the house. Well, it would seem like it. it's a little... Dilapidated. So probably we need pond at some point in time. But let's go to the to the bath walk. You there, caretaker Louis. May we talk? What do you want? Fix the bell. Do you know that the bell on the main gate is not working? Yes, I'll know, but I only have one pair of hands. When I'll have finished with other things, I will attend to it. Well, you really should go fix it right away. It is Eleanor's wish. Okay, I will get this done and then I'll fix it. 
I think I'll go now. Okay. Uh, I'll it... leave him alone. Well, that seems a good idea. That is to the old guard, and that is to the main gate. What's happening on the main gate? I'll go check it. I can't leave yet. I'll go back. Okay. So we are going to the old garden. Go. Go, go. What? That path leads to the old garden. Visitors are not permitted back there. Madam has given me permission as her guest to go wherever I please. Oh. In that case, it's all right, sir. Louis. You have a little problem there, mate. What is that? Uh, faucet. The hose is fixed to the faucet with a strong wire. I'll get it off. Oh. Okay. I think that's something we need to do. So now we have a strong wire. Which we probably need somewhere. Can I check it? It is firm and will bend only with difficulty. Anything? I don't need to wash. I don't need. Just turning the faucet should be enough to make the water run now. I okay. don't need to. So we need it later. What about bench? I haven't got time to sit here. Pity though, this place is beautiful. That is a pity. So let's move forward. Anything over the left side? Well, that's interesting looking. Uh, head. Does it have three or two horns? I can't really make a cry fountain. I'd say it has survived from the times of the old manor, just like the old grape that's bearing it. Can I do anything with it? Wait, sorry. Well, I thought he was go not going to say anything and I clicked it too fast the second time and it apparently, yeah. Ditch. An old water ditch. It could be quite deep. Now it's overgrown with bushes and tall grass. So nothing else. To the abandoned house it is then. This might be a, again a little slower episode. According to what Eleanor said, Richard should be somewhere inside this old house. It seems to be deserted. It definitely does. But yeah, like I said, it's going to probably be a little, little slower episode as we need to talk to people i guess there will be puzzles also a wooden staircase door pallet let's see what we have here and to the chapel someone dropped it here nothing that i would be interested in you certain well it turned back to gray let's see the chapel this must be it durgam gordon's tomb i've got to get inside somehow Durgam Gordon's tomb. Uh, broken fence. Part of the stone fence that the wall could no longer bear. It's sinking into the earth, saturated by the swamp. The swamp. I built a castle in the swamp, and it sank. Then I built another class cl castle, and it sank too. Then I built... Same species as the other shrubs in the garden. This one doesn't blossom, though. Strange. Perhaps the dampness from the nearby swamp is affecting it. Who knows? Who knows? Then I built a third castle, and its swamp sank too. But the fourth castle stood. The swamp in the rear part of the garden could be quite deep. I cannot go there. Is that something I want to go, or is it something I go through here? Monolith. Always check the monolith. It must have been here for hundreds of years. It may be as old as the ruins of the church behind it. Uh, check An it. old carving in the stone tablet reads, Durgham Gordon, 1523. 
the rest of the carving is illegible. Durgham's memorial. Okay, now we know. Now we know. There's something else. Uh, stone flower pot. Strange. The soil here is of different colour than anywhere else in the garden. Strange. The soil here is of different colour than anywhere else in the garden. Okay, so that is something we probably need so somewhere. Nothing on the statue. Oh, a shrub. We checked that, but what can we do again? A dead shrub. Nothing interesting. Okay, uh, to the tomb. The grate is locked. Yeah, I would think so. So now we can go back to the abandoned house. Well, technically it's not abandoned if the husband is there. Can I enter here or do I need to use the stair? Locked. Okay, good staircase then. Oh, by the way, I could stay because I just realized as it's apparent that I can die in this game. Um. I probably want to save. So if I drop from the wooden staircase and break my neck, I don't have to do everything again. The staircase doesn't look very stable. But there's no going inside this way. Okay, so we are not going inside that way. It won't move a single inch. It seems that the key is in the lock on the other side. Again, so do I use the small knife or the firm wire? Let's start with the knife. Okay, I'm guessing it's the wire then. I could push the key out of the lock, but it would fall to the floor and I would never be able to reach it. Well, we have this. So let's put this under it. Then we drop the key. And that's the way you do it. And we're the in. House seems abandoned. You think? What was the giveaway? But again, if the laboratory is somewhere here, it's not completely abandoned. Poker, small door, fireplace, tea kettle, stove. Oh, that's not a door. Okay, let's start with the pokers. Do I need those? Tools for maintaining the fireplace. Yes, they are. Oh, there's some table also. Can I? No, I can't take them. So, just soot and ashes. Apparently, no fire has been started here in a long time. Okay, so that's it then. Rope. Can we take it? Completely rotten. I have no use for it. So, no use for the completely rotten rope. Oh, there's a cat. I didn't notice the cat. It's completely dirty. Right. Let's start with the stove, then go with that, and then check the sleeping cat. It's empty. Just ashes. Okay. It's empty. Just ashes. So we are going to use this later for something, maybe? Because it's still red. Oh, there's dirty paper also. Hmm. Grease and ca cacao. I don't know what that is. The oh, bottom is completely blackened, as if someone burnt something in it. These do not look like cigarette or cigar ashes. 
So something else was burnt, maybe paper or something. There's nothing in it. Was something like that a lamp? Broken oil lamp. I can't do much with it. Fine. Ah, oh, fountain pen. No idea what we're going to do with it, but I don't think. I guess we Old can. advertisement papers. A page with technical literature. Two ads are marked in red. That's uh, okay. Unfortunately, I can't check it anymore. Draw. Just a few sheets of paper, some cards, and two test tubes. Can I? I don't need anything from here. Really? I can't see anything interesting. Okay, at least not. I don't need. Any at least for now, we don't need anything from there. And. Uh, so we managed to get a fountain pen, only only that, nothing else at the moment. Let's right click it. No, it doesn't do anything. The papers here then. Some old paper. I'm not going to dirty my hands on it. Huh. Some old paper. Okay. Let's check the cat. Where did it run? Under the cupboard. Or something like that. Where is it? It's not in the cabinet. Oh, cabinet. I can't see anything there. The cabinet is too dark. Right. But I'm more interested about the key which just dropped. So let's grab that first. So can I... There's a cabinet and there's the small door. What's inside the small it's door? It's tightly shut. It is closed by a hexagonal latch. It's tightly... Hexagonal latch. Do I have... A wrench for tightening hexagonal nuts. I guess we can use that. But what's there then? I can't see anything in it. It's entirely dark. In okay, fine. Let's use this. Ah, okay. Uh, we have a candle. And what else? A oh. cigarette lighter. It appears to be missing a wick. Of course it is missing a wick. And... Uh, Nothing else. Can we use the rope? No. No, we can't use the rope. Tea kettle, we can check the tea kettle again. I don't want to make tea. Really? How dreadful. Newspapers? I'm not going to dirty my hands on it. So what am I missing? I need a... Posted up clippings. Let's check those. Maybe there's something Just in here. Dirty paper. No, they're actually newspaper clippings. I'll have a look. A young, talented chemist acquires further appreciation. For the second time this year, a promising chemist, Richard Gordon, is attracting well deserved attention. It has now been a week since he mentioned his work would deliver many improvements to the methodology of mammal blood research. Let's wish him good luck in his work. His research will bring fresh ideas to the domain of biochemistry. Daily Times, 19. The text that follows is illegible. I didn't know we had a famous chemist in the family. Well, according to his wife, he never really made a breakthrough, so we don't have as famous as one could be. But at least noteworthy. Was there a broken lamp? Yes, but I can't. I can't see anything interesting. Uh, hmm. So we have a candle. An old candle with a firm wick. Ah, 
are we going to use the wick from the candle on this? 22. It's missing a wick. Other than that, it might work. Well, I would say the gasoline would have been gone for now. Hmm. Let's try something. But it works. It should be usable now. Nice. So do I use this on the cabinet like this? In we go. There is a latch. The back of the cabinet can be pushed off. Hmm. Where could it lead? To the laboratory, I guess. Damn! Who the blazes are you? I am Samuel Gordon. You scared me half to death. What do you want? Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't know somebody would be here. How did you get in? Well, let's be nice. Behind an old cabinet, I discovered a passage to a small staircase leading downward. I descended into the darkness and felt a doorknob on the landing. And when I opened the door... Why did you sneak in so quietly, like a thief? I was about to say something, but you instantly spotted me. Hmm. I'm glad you aren't lying, at least. The sample in that flask was the last I had of that substance. I'm sorry to have caused you trouble. It was not intentional. Your apology will not help me now. I urgently need that substance for an experiment I'm planning to carry out this evening. How can I help you, then? Would you want to? I'll try. Great! The flask contained an EX-52 oxidant. It's neither uncommon nor expensive, but it was my last bit, and I'm not getting any until a new package arrives next week. Next week? Well, this place is just too far away from about everything. You cannot even get a stain cleaner in the surrounding villages. So where am I supposed to get a hold of this oxidant? i tell you if I knew. You could try Leechdale, but you would have to be back by dusk. You should be able to be here on time if you hurry. There's a drugstore in the square. That's where you want to go. Okay, I'll see what I can do. It's a boron oxidant, EX-52. Write it down. Make sure of the color, a vigorously saturated blue. You can't possibly confuse it with anything else. I understand. And now, please excuse me. I have a lot of work to do. Boron Occident. Oh, great. Dr. Frankenstein, I, I presume. Or oh, Frankenstein. Haha. <laughs> Frankenstein. I'll take one. What did I just take? Eh, it doesn't really matter. Some bottle. I... Small empty bottle. Okay. Uh, what else we can take here? Strange machine. Can I take that? That almost looks like a... I've never seen anything quite like it before. The whole thing is probably Richard's invention. Uh, almost seems like a bird's uh, head. A face, head and beak. Uh, apparently I'm not taking it. It probably has got to do with electricity, judging by the cables on the floor. Mm, fair assessment, maybe. And it's free. sure to be full of various chemicals. I'm not opening it. I didn't put anything there. It's sure to be full of... Okay, we are not doing anything with that. Oh, shards. Let's take those. So, maybe something else? Machine plans. And pendant construction. Technical drawing of the machine in the middle of the room, I'd say. Yes, those are the hanging thingies. Oh, yeah. There are many indecipherable formulas and remarks under the drawing. 
Fine, let's check the big flask. It's the same color as the contents of those big containers behind me. According to the color, it's probably acid. Yeah, don't drop it then. The chains reach the ceiling of the tower. At least a little sunlight is getting in through that hole in the ceiling. Okay, what 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 was that? I think I saw some red over here. Oh, it's the books. Well, we might check those books also. So I have various scientific volumes, physics, astrophysics, nothing I'd be interested in. No. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Uh, can I talk to him? I guess he won't talk to me. First, I've got to get hold of that occident. Right. So there's that. I'll take a quick break and I'll be right back. Okay, let's see. I think we've done everything in here. Um... But, uh, honestly, I don't think, well, I don't know. Well, let's go see if we can even leave this place. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion that I cannot go. Can I? Because we know that we can use this faucet and we have this small empty bottle. Can I? I'll fill it with water. Okay, that worked. I don't know what we are going to do with it, but uh, let's start with that. Oh, the caretaker. Grand Skipper of Ville. Well, he's not Grand Skipper of Ville. Uh, what do you have in toolbox? I can't mess with the toolbox while he's around. He would notice. Would he now? Can I talk to him? May we talk? What do you want? Uh, tube and doorbell. Let's start with the tube. Louis, I'd like to have a look in the family tomb in the back garden. There is nothing to be seen there, sir. I'll decide that for myself. Can you open it for me? No, sir, I can't. Madam has explicitly forbidden it. I can't let anyone in. Well, uh, I'll go with the positive answer because I don't think he will give us the key anyways. I have no idea what would happen if I go with the negative answer. Probably it, well, it won't, I hope it won't block anything, but uh, anyways. Surely nothing bad will happen if you let me in. Lend me your key and I'll bring it back in a minute. No one will find out. It will stay just between us. Madam would certainly fire me if I broke her explicit order. I can't do anything. Obviously, Louis won't open the grate. Hmm. Oh well, at least I know who has the key. Again, lend me your ears. So what is with the doorbell? It's broken. What did you expect? It shouldn't take me long to fix it. I'll just need to find out what the problem is. All right. I think I'll go now. So let's see, can I even leave? Well, it seems I cannot, and I don't even have a map of this area, if I remember correctly. We have William's diary. But yeah, nope. I guess we need to find uh, did we have what fountain pen isn't ink blue can I do this I spilt all the ink from the pen into the glass It actually worked. Now we have bottle with dissolved ink. 
This is what is left of the oxidant that I must get somehow. Hmm. The label reads, Oxidant EX52. Do we need the label? This is what is left of the oxidant that I... Hmm. Oh, I think I... I have a sneaking suspicion how we are going to go about this stuff. We have the teapot which we can interact. Oh, but, Do you like it here? Did you have a look around the garden? Yes, this place is very beautiful. That reminds me, is Louis still working in the garden? Yes, he's fixing the doorbell at the main gate. Can you please ask him to leave that for later and mow the lawn? Of course, I'll tell him. You are so kind. <laughs> First, we sent the poor Louis to fix the doorbell because it's it's you have to do it. It's her, you have to hurry about it. Then we finally, when he's finally fixed the doorbell, oh, he must move the garden. Let's go tell poor Louis he must move the garden. Oh, but then he would probably leave, and we could get inside the toolbox. May we talk? What do you want? Mow the garden. Louis, Eleanor asked that I tell you to mow the lawn. I'll know my duty, sir. I have no time for that at the moment. Okay. I think I'll go now. Okay, let's see. What happens if I go here? Is he still around? Yes. Do I need to go back to the Eleanor to tell him that uh, Louis is busy? I don't know. I'll check. Or maybe we have to do something for a while before he actually leaves. Huh. Let's see what Eleanor says, if I have anything to discuss with him. May I bother you for a moment? You are not bothering me, Sam. I like talking to you. Okay, uh, let's start with the piano. May I ask what that composition is that you are playing? It is from a distant memory. I love this song. It has so much melancholy in it. If you are interested, I could play some more for you in the evening. That would be delightful. Um, tomb. I had a look at your family tomb at the end of the garden. It looks quite well preserved, unlike the ruins on the hill. Yes, but its base is slowly sinking into the swamp. I have no idea what to do about it. The swamp is spreading more and more. In a few years, I may even see it from my window, and all those annoying insects will be flying everywhere. Do I understand correctly that you do not wish that anyone enter the tomb? I would like to ask you to make an exception and let me in. I'm sorry, Samuel. I really don't want anyone stepping inside. The dead deserve a dignified rest. I understand. I won't insist. But I do insist. And besides, again, I have a great idea what to do with the swamp tick. When the one mausoleum sinks, you build another. And another. Anyways. Tall grass. Uh, Let's start with the doorbell. I conveyed your message to Louis. He'll fix the doorbell by the evening. Thank you. Really? Okay, tall grass. I told Louis he should trim the lawn, but he insisted on fixing the doorbell first. Oh, did he? He's hardworking and reliable, but sometimes it is difficult to get him to leave work that he has begun. Tell him that I wish him to mow the lawn right away especially around the house. I don't want to be disturbed by that horrible sound in the evening when I'm playing. Sure. I think I'll go now. Okay, yeah, so I definitely have to go back and forth and tell these things. 
the funny thing is I already told that he's fixing the doorbell later in the evening. Which he's not doing at the moment, but... Louis, I do insist. May we talk? What do you want? It's not what I want, it's what Elena wants. Louis, Madam has explicitly ordered that you start to mow the lawn. Really? Oh well, I'll do it by this evening. You must be finished before it gets dark. Madam does not want to be disturbed during the evening. Right, right. I'll do it as soon as possible. I think I'll go now. When I came here, everything started to go poorly for poor Louis. Poorly for poor Louis. Oh. Is he still there? Because I would like to have the stuff. Okay, I guess I need to go and inform the lady that uh, he's starting to mow the lawn. Because I'm guessing there's something in the toolbox I need. Uh, but apparently he's not moving. Or then I have to do something or other things too before he moves. But let's... Don't want to disturb her. Okay, so we're not disturbing her. Okay, once more with the feeling. I'll go and check if he's still around. If he's still there, I need to... Oh no, he's moving. Okay, that's good. So now I can go and check what's in the toolbox. Because, yeah, we need the label. We need to move it to the small bottle with dissolved ink. So maybe there's something I need. I'm guessing there's something I need. A strong glue. I'll take it. Glue? Well, maybe it's for when we are sticking it to the, the bottle. A firm wire. Okay, we have a firm wire. What else? There is nothing else I need from the toolbox. There is nothing else. Minor nitpick. I always have to click a few times to get everything from the uh, stuff. Fortunately, I'm getting accustomed for it, so so I don't hopefully didn't miss anything. But uh, yeah, that's a minor nitpick that if you just click once, you get the one stuff. It doesn't happen always, but sometimes. So is there anything in here I might need? I do have a plan. Well, actually, I don't have a plan. I have a vague idea that what I need to do to get the label. Because we have this teapot. Tea kettle. Sorry. I think I need water for that too. Yes. Let's go and fill this with water. Hopefully we can use the faucet in here, or then we need to go to the pond. Why didn't I do this the, when I were around there earlier? I don't know. I'm a bit slow. Okay, we can fill it in here, I hope. Because obviously we need steam. As I'm guessing this will be work like the uh, removing stamp or other things in adventure games and in real life also. So, steamy deeds, full steam ahead. So we have water, we have kettle. Is there anything we need from here? I don't need anything from here. Hmm. It seems that we don't need anything from here, I hope. I right click it once more. Um Okay, oh, let's check the stove. Is there any wood in it? It's empty. Just ashes. Can we take the old newspaper? Oh, now you're ready to dirty your hands. 
but is that it? No, is that it enough? Because I would assume we would need wood also, because I don't think the paper is enough to warm the stove and the kettle or the boiling point. But again, it might be. Radio. Um, the stove isn't ready. Okay, fine. What else? Um, shard. I don't think we need to shard yet. I need something to burn. There's wood. Apparently, we can't use it. Oh, there's logs. Okay. I tried this earlier and as they didn't turn it to red, I thought they were not needed. So at least there's that. We really need something else also than paper. I think that should be enough. I still don't know what we will achieve after we we've done this. Hopefully we get the key from the chemist, which names eludes me at the moment. It lit up. The water will start boiling in a minute. Maybe if I leave and come back, maybe it starts boiling sooner. Oh yes go in and go out usually works in these games and some other games also okay do i take the kettle in my inventory i thought we were just steam. the water in the kettle is already boiling the water in the kettle okay so now we know it's boiling oh you have to aim for the steam okay sorry hmm. Let's try something. Let's. Good. I managed to get the label off the shard. Nice. So now I'm guessing we are using the clue. And slap that beauty of a patch on here. This should be it. The oxidant is ready. I just hope that Richard won't be examining the contents too closely. Mm, I guess not. I guess not. Um, so. Uh, where did I save last? Secret passage. Interesting to see how this goes. We are not in the. We haven't been in the tomb yet. And here you have the bottle. Ah, oh, Richard. Sorry, it was Richard. I was thinking I've something. I've gotten the substance you need. Oh, did you? Excellent. Excellent. I'm surprised you're back so soon. You must have hurried. Well, uh, yes. No matter. The important thing is I can go back to the original variant. Thank you, young man. You have helped me a great deal. Oh, uh, it was nothing. I only hope Richard doesn't find out about the Occident before I'm long gone. <laughs> and with this sabotage, we probably... Uh, have uh, made the situation so that uh, if we haven't intervened, Richard would have uh, made a cure for every illness and uh, long life uh, elixir. And now that we managed to ruin it, it will not never get it done. Anyways, tomb. Do you know who has the key to the grate of the tomb by the swamp? You want to go inside? Maybe. I can't help you with that. There's only one key, as far as I know. And I haven't got it. 
Who then? Don't know. I'm not interested in the past. Ask my wife. She looks after the place. Or try Louis. He has the key to every lock around here. Thanks. I will. If oh. it's Eleanor who has the key, I have a problem. I hmm. have no choice but to try Louis. We apparently know it's on that Louis has the key, so we need to uh, may, may think something that we can get the key from him, which is weird. Why? What will helping him actually help us? When did you last see William? Oh, that must have been many years ago. I would have to try to remember. Some eight years back, I would say. Why are you asking? He was here about two years ago. Did you not see him? Was he? No, I have not. I am not interested in these family visits. You see, I have a lot of work. Okay, secret key. Have you any idea what this could be? Hmm, I haven't. But it's silver. I don't think I can tell you any more. I'll leave you to your work then. Silver? Don't tell me, it's actually werewolves. So, what did all of this I'm help? I'm opening it. I didn't put anything there. Honestly, why I did all of this, he really didn't give me any new information. He has work to do. I, I really don't understand. We already know that Louis has a key. So... Unless something... Well, I don't know. This is weird. Because that didn't really help me at all. Oh, check it. Okay, the okay, but hmm. What would I say to him if he saw me? Ah. So I need to get the jacket, obviously. What would I... What would I... Hmm... What would I need to do... To get the jacket? Is there anything in the toolbox? There is nothing else I need from the toolbox. No. I'm still a little... It reminds me of our ill-fated... I'm still not sure what I actually achieved helping the Richard. Maybe that I don't want. Maybe that achieved that uh, Louis put his jacket on the branch. I, because I can't remember if I saw the jacket uh, on the branch earlier. So maybe that's it. But, um, what do I need to do now? Okay, we need to break the lawnmower. Reminds me of, um, what was the game I played? 
Lucius, but with a little bit different effects. Soon. Oh, finally. Oh. Poo. So now we should get the key. A bundle of keys. Great. I'll borrow it for a little while. Just a little while. Maybe the idea was that I shouldn't be knowing that Louis has the key until I have talk to Richard. I hope it was Richard. And um, maybe the talking with the Richard activated that Louis put a, a jacket on the branch. So now we should be able to get to the tomb, uh, go to the tomb, but that is for the next episode. So, yeah, I think I end this episode here. Uh, well, it was a little slow-paced episode, and I guess it will continue a little bit slow-paced also. It, this this has this a little interesting pacing. Sometimes, it, like in the mines, it was just the puzzle after puzzle, and now it was a well. Of course, there were a few puzzles here and there. Uh, I don't think there wasn't a more or less than in the mines, but a little bit more talking. And the talking takes a little bit of time and going back and forth, back and forth. Fortunately, it went quite smoothly. Uh, so it felt like I didn't do much, although I did quite a lot. <laughs> it always, uh, in this case, you, it, it's hard to uh, know if you have done much or not because obviously it takes time to sort the puzzles and i got a bit lucky with those fortunately the area is quite small there's nothing not so much to uh, go on about un unlike with um, finding the mark but anyways yes on the next episode we probably finally can get into the tomb uh i guess there will be something else because Re uh, william didn't find the key so i don't think it's just going to tomb and grab the key there has to be something else so yeah that's for the next episode so anyways i hope you enjoyed this episode and i will see you next time until then goodbye